Hi friends. So we've been looking at some of Taib Ayat's artwork and his fun and whimsical portraits of people. And you've watched the PowerPoint and so you've seen how he has these exaggerated figures with long necks and kind of U-shaped heads. So I've printed out just a couple to remind you of the look we're going for. So we are not going for realistic, so do not worry. <clears throat> so let's begin. Let's start with a big U-shaped head. Right, once you have that head, you're gonna draw a long skinny rectangle for the neck. You see that I'm gonna move the paper up a little bit. And for the shoulders, you're just going to draw a curved line to the edge of the paper. Now, you remember Taib Ayat said that he'd like to have one eye open to see the beautiful things that were happening in the world and one eye closed to see the not so beautiful things happening in the world. So let's do that. So we're gonna draw one big oval for the, the open eye and one eye closed, just a curved line for the closed eye. We're gonna attach those two eyes with a long skinny rectangle you can add nostrils on the side. He did that sometimes. We're gonna carry this line up and around for the eyebrows, take that to the edge of the face. Do you have that? Okay, good. For the mouth, he has a very stylized mouth. I think the easiest way to capture that is to draw the letter M and put a line underneath it, and then put a U underneath. Are you with me? Okay. For the hair, he used all different kinds of lines. He used wavy lines, curved lines, zigzag lines, so do whatever you like here for hair. Some characters even had earrings that dangled, but we never see ears. So you can just draw things that kind of hang from the side of the head. He used geometric shapes on the neck. I'm not sure whether these are necklaces or collars from shirts, but feel free to create any kind of fun designs that you like here. We also saw, let's go back and look, cheeks have lots of circles on them. So go ahead and add circles for your cheeks. Add some eyelashes. Add some more shapes. Geometric shapes for your clothing. And that's it. Pretty simple, but fun. There it is, gang. Keep it simple, keep it fun. Can't wait to see the results. 